Yo, what a minute, your boy Chris and Bob. You checking in, man? Daylight vs. Oops dropped on RBE. Shout out to ARP. Shout out to Lawrence. Shout out to the whole RBE movement, man. Y'all doing big things over there. A lot of people I know, man, went to this battle event from the Facebook group. They was telling me before this battle ever dropped that Daylight vs. Oops was a classic and that we definitely need to be checking for it when it came out. I was like, word, you know, that's definitely dope, man. Daylight finally came with a battle. Didn't spit no antics, came with bars. So if that's the case, I can't wait for it to drop. Then niggas told me that niggas was crying at the battle. Now, when I first heard niggas was crying at the battle, my first thought was, Man, both of y'all shut the fuck up. Both of y'all acting like some motherfucking bitch shit. Stick in my motherfucking joint, nigga. <laughs> I'm just saying, man, that was the first thing I thought. And then the battle dropped, so I'm like, okay, I see what these niggas are talking about. Oops was really spent some shit in that third round. Me, personally, I don't have a daughter or I don't have anybody in my family that's going through cancer, but if that's something that you're dealing with or have dealt with in your life or know somebody personally, I can understand why that may have hit close to home. I told y'all early on, man, when I did my 2014 Stock Rise blog, I had Oops number five on that list on that blog. A lot of people gave me a lot of backlash saying Oops didn't belong there. It was a little ahead of his time. I should have had Sharon. I should have had some other people. And I mean, I'm not going to really say that those people weren't deserving, but I felt like Oops represented something, man, that was actually missing from Battle Rap. He was kind of a new dude. Not too new because he'd been around a little bit, but he was kind of new to a lot of fans. And he has his own style. He doesn't really ride no wave. He doesn't sound like anybody in Battle Rap. And at the end of the day, man, he always has a good message. And he just stands for a lot as a person. And I felt like moving forward into 2015, this was going to be a big year for Oops. I really felt that way. It was going to be a big year knowing that RBE is behind him, pushing him. He got Shotgun Suge coming up. He's probably going to be on the next RBE card doing big things. So you're going to see a lot of Oops in the near future, man. And, uh, whether you fuck with him or not, I think he's definitely going to let people, you know, wake people up to who he is. Let's get into this recap, man. Before I get into the rounds, I got to keep it real with you, man. I got tired of the horns and the sirens in this battle. It became a little bit annoying because I don't really like bars to seem like they're gas or anything. And I'm not saying like there were bad bars in this battle, but every bad, every, but every bar wasn't a horn or siren worthy bar. And it just seemed like niggas was really ODing with this shit a little too much in this particular battle. And I really don't like too many horns and sirens. I feel like sometimes that can sway a battle. In this particular battle, it really didn't matter. But when you got too many Don DeMarcos or you got too much editing of, of a certain scene, it can kind of sway your opinion of how you feel about a round or something. You can make a bar appear to be a little bit better than it actually is. So I think as far as editing and sound effects, it should be kept to a minimum and we should only really use it on the haymakers. That's just my personal opinion. That's really the only negative I got about the battle. As far as round one, Daylight went crazy, man. This is the daylight we want to see moving forward. And the good thing about writer's block is it seemed like whenever they battle each other, you know, you saw Daylight and, and Chilla Jones, and you're going to see some other matchups in the future because I think Chilla and Danny Myers is going to battle. Um, Big Cannon is talking about battling one of the writer's block family. So it just seems like they're just trying to push their pen as far as they can, and we're going to probably get a bunch of classics between this clique. So this is the daylight we want to see moving forward, not the antics, not the bullshit daylight, not the recycled daylight. This is the daylight we want to see. And that fucking uh, bar he said about... Um, when I see snakes off the top, I'm a douche. Oh my gosh, everybody get washed. I'm a loofah nigga. <laughs> uh, yeah. If I feel you a snake off top, then I'm a douche nigga. That Medusa line was crazy. Even the way he started with the Sean Marion, the weather scheme was dope. Picture me losing the oops is like the bill collector and show out fight. I will not. He gave you everything in the first round, man, in terms of just bars, aggression, delivery, the whole nine. Nothing really bad to say about Daylight first round. Oops, first round, I felt like he started off kind of slow. He kind of has a big T style in where it takes a little bit of time for him to build up to a punch. You know, and it's kind of ironic because him and Big T argue a lot on Facebook and take shots at each other in certain blogs. But Big T sometimes takes a little minute to get to the punch with these buildups. Oops is a little bit of the same way. And I felt like going with what Daylight was saying, Oops had some shit in the first round. And Adam E. Bar was dope. Um, 
I see past the tattoo, I'm a, you know, a different mark. That was also nice. The Mother Teresa line was also nice. But the slow build up, I think, kind of kind of just took a little time for, for Oops to really warm up in his little storytelling round. So I definitely got the first round going to Daylight. Second round, Daylight was back to the bars again, man. Very consistent in this battle, man. It giving you three good rounds of good bars. I don't feel like he was as good in the second round as he was the first round, but he was still saying some shit. You, you in a world filled with my lines, be amazed. He was still saying some nice lines in the second round, but I gave the second round to Oops, man. I like the way he started with the whole going through the week with the with the day flips. But you be hiding behind this punk ass image. But deep inside, I can hear your cries. I mean, let's be honest. I know you're young and arrest us, but we don't need no more of these days in our lives. See? You my brother. So I knew fucking you up, this wasn't gonna be fun, day. I mean, after this, it'll be hard for you to get up. Like a Monday, see? Uh -huh. The problem is, you got a little confused, day. I mean, I mean, I gotta show you the facts of life and how to utilize those tools, day. See, let me tell you the truth. It ain't about where you been, day. It ain't even about your resume, your losses, or your wins, day. Uh -huh. See? I'm not too crazy about day flips, cause it seemed like everybody that battled day like to flip the shit out of his name. But Oops did that shit in a clever way and I was actually fucking with it. So I liked him going through the week and doing a day flip. I'm wigging on every level like a beauty supply. Oops had some shit in the second round. I gave the second round to Oops. As far as the third round, a lot of y'all really can't judge the third round. Felt like, you know, they was spitting some shit. Oops was spitting some real shit. So the fans won. And that's cool. You know what I'm saying? I definitely can't argue with that. But this is unbiased review. You know I'm a pick a winner. And I got daylight just because he was more direct. And he had a lot of nice little haymakers in the in the in the third round too. R.I.P. Mookie, R.I.P. Kalo, them pop shots was flying. Mm -hmm. All I kept saying is, God damn, the block is dying. But you said the last verse. If a nigga kill your brother, you pull out the Glock and ride it. But let a cop kill your brother. First thing you do is go to the street and scream, stop the fuck. Ah! That shit was hard. Steve Urkel shit was crazy. Uh, what else he said? A time was my only friend. <sighs> Daylight was wild in the third round. Oops, third round about the suicide, about his daughter, about um, his girl, about the cancer situation, man. Definitely heartfelt. See, they look at my tattoos, they think that I'm crazy. I say my common sense is still here. What you know about having a disease that they say you in remission, but you still the pain? You know the pain is still there. I mean, it's been a lot of times, bro. I wanted to off myself, but I thought about my family, but I'm a man, so I still get scared. I wanted to bring those cans here to that cancer that's still there. Oops is all about touching people through battle rap. I think he even said something on Facebook the other day, how somebody who's a cancer patient watched this battle and wanted Oops to spend time with with them or somebody in their family because they had cancer also for Father's Day coming up. They wanted Oops to spend time with them because they was inspired by his third round. You know what I'm saying? Like shit like that can't even be measured, my nigga, in, in terms of wins and losses. So it's not really about really who won the third round, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, I probably feel like Daylight was more direct, so he won. But sometimes, you know, I felt like Oops purposely wanted to get this message across. I was fucking with his third round, man. I definitely felt like it was powerful. Daylight proved once again that when he's spitting bars like he is in this battle, yo, the sky's the limit for this dude at the end of the day. The sky is definitely the limit. And my final takeaway from this battle is, is that these dudes, yo, niggas have really lived a life that I ain't never seen no part of. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't never really dealt with nobody with cancer in my family. I ain't never really had nobody in my immediate family killed. You know, daylight talking about somebody was shot right in front of him. I ain't never seen nobody shot right in front of me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I grew up in a two-parent household. Mom, loving parents. Mom and dad put me through college. Graduated the whole nine working in my field. Yeah, man, and I didn't grow up with no silver spoon in my mouth, and we wasn't rich or anything. I know what mayonnaise sandwiches are like. Plenty of times you look in the refrigerator, can't find no food to eat. Look around. Damn, I see a can of biscuits. Look in the cabinet. Damn, I see some syrup. Fuck around and you have you biscuits and syrup for dinner. Everybody know about biscuits and syrup. So yeah, man, we definitely had our time when we struggled, but I was looking at this battle in this third round. I thought, wow, 
I haven't seen nearly the shit that a lot of these other dudes in battle rap, especially what Oops and Daylight is talking about, what they've seen. And I'm not glorifying it. I hope I don't ever have to see any of that. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely nothing that need to be glorified. But, but it's just interesting, man, looking at people and seeing what they have to go through growing up or just in their personal life and then what you have to go through. And it's almost like we got an untold truth third round. And I can appreciate the little extra stuff you get to know about a battle rapper that you normally would never really get a chance to tap into their life like that. So I could appreciate their third round, man. I know some people didn't fuck with it, felt like it was poetry. Who am I? <laughs> well, they all call me brother to the night. And right now, I'm the blues in your left thigh. Trying to become the funk in your right. Is that all right? Or, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's not a battle. You want to see a winner, a loser. You want to see dudes attacking each other. And, you know, I understand that too. And I do feel, it. I, a part of me does feel that way. But not in this particular battle because it's really the first time that somebody really took this approach where two dudes kind of went on this whole life, history of life, journey type stuff. If we saw this again, I probably would have a problem with it. I'd be like, okay, my nigga, this shit is... You know, now, now shit getting carried away. But for this particular battle and for it to be oops and what he stands for as a person, I could appreciate it. And shout out to Daylight, man. We got three good rounds. Normally we get antics. I'd rather, I'd rather Daylight give you that real shit than an antic. You know, he could have done some bullshit in the third round. So it is what it is, man. I was fucking with this battle. Definitely, I didn't have it as a classic, I will admit, but I had the third round as a classic round. So at the end of the day, it's a dope battle. A lot of replay value. Only got like about 70,000 views, so we got to get the views up too. But uh, shout out to RBE, shout out to ARP. I'm Box View. Holla at your boy.